button. Okay, this is uh, number 6-62, and it says, Yesterday, Micah was given some information and was asked to write a linear equation. But last night, her cat destroyed most of the information. <laughs> at, right, all she has, at right is all she has left. Complete the table and graph the line that represents, I guess it's probably Mika, Mika's equation. So I'm just going to kind of replicate what is on your, in your book so that I don't have to look, keep looking back and forth. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and all we have. So the cat mangled everything except for the negative 2, comma 1. Oh, and here's a graph. Where should I put the graph? You guys can probably see the graph if I put it down here. Because I want to do my work over here. So the graph has... Well, this ordered pair right here is negative 3, comma 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's negative 3, comma 3. So that tells me that there's a 3 right here. Did you, did you guys kind of catch on to that? Because the graph, so if you look in the original problem, because the graph has that point at negative 3, comma 3, I can copy it into my table. And also, because my table has negative 2, comma 1, I can copy it into my graph. So I can um, get negative 2, comma 1 into my graph. That's negative, oh, it's kind of ugly for me to write it. Negative 2, comma 1. Okay, so now what am I supposed to do? Complete the table and graph the line. Okay, so it said the word line. So that's pretty easy. It said the word line. So I don't know if you guys realize what that means. That means that all I have to do is just connect these things. Is What were you going to say, Sandy? Um, Oh, that's awesome. I love when you say that. Okay, so so graphically, I can just, you know, do that. But I still need to know what the rule is. And she says it's subtracting two each time. And since the, she said it's a line, then it has to, um, you know, have a linear. It has to be subtracting the same amount or adding the same amount each time. So let's see. What's one minus two? Is that negative one? Negative 1, negative 2, ne negative 3, negative 5, negative 7. So I completed the table and I graphed it. Is that all they want? She thinks, well, that's letter A. Mm hmm. Sandy? I have the equation. Oh, you have the equation? Yeah, go ahead. What, what do you think it is? Y equals uh, negative 2 and Okay, so I see, I think I know how you got the negative 2x because it was jumping by negative 2, and that's your slope, right? But where did the negative 3 come from? Zero. Oh! Good, so that's the y intercept. So my graph, you can see that my graph isn't very accurate because I didn't use graph paper. But that should sh look like it's going across the axis at negative 3. Sorry, it's not a very nice graph. Um, so this is this right here is kind of the answers to letter A. It just said complete the table and graph the line. Okay. So then letter B says uh, Mika thinks the equation for this graph could be. Here's what Mika thinks. She thinks it could be 2x plus y equals negative 3. Is she correct? What did you guys say about that? Because we, I believe, Sandy, that this is the equation of the line. Is th oh, did I do something weird? <laughs> well, I wrote yx. I didn't want to write yx. I wanted to write 2, uh sorry. 2x plus y equals. This is what Mika thinks the equation of the graph is. Mm -hmm. You think yes? How come? Subtract 2x from the left Yeah. Because if I subtract 2x from both sides, I'm going to get the exact same one that I know is correct. I know it's correct because, well, because Sandy told me, and I also know because the y-intercept is right here and we have our slope. So um, those will go away. And then we'll have y equals negative 2x minus 3. That's the same thing. So I think Mika's right. 
and I'm kind of showing why right here. Um, we'll just say Mika, Mika is correct. Something like that. Sandy. Oh, um, I have a question for another problem, though, when you're done with this one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn this one off.